So let's talk about referred pain. Have you ever had a pain in your tooth, let's say, uh, and it turned out to be a sinus infection? Well, how about a, a pain in your ear that turned out to be a throat infection? Well, those are examples of referred pain. And it's really nothing more than pain that's felt in a spot that you wouldn't expect. It's a pain coming from organs or tissues, and yet it's felt somewhere away from those organs or tissues. For example, when your coronary arteries are plugged and the oxygenated blood can't make it downstream to feed your heart muscle, we call that cardiac ischemia. Except sometimes it feels like tightness in your jaw or it feels like pain in your shoulders. That's referred pain. Some other classic examples are an injured gallbladder, which you feel in your shoulder, or appendicitis, which can typically start as pain around your umbilicus. So I'm not sure if researchers have settled on the precise mechanism that causes referred pain, but my favorite theory goes like this. Let's say your gallbladder is injured and it sends signals to a switching station in your spinal cord called the dorsal root ganglion. Well, that same switching station handles all the signals that come from your shoulder muscles and in your skin. Well, that means that when your brain hears from that switching station in your spinal cord, it's most likely to interpret those signals as coming from your shoulder. My favorite story about referred pain is about my Uncle Bob. He was laying tile in his basement all weekend, and Monday morning he woke up with a really sore shoulder. He whined about it so much that my Aunt Jean took him to the emergency department. Well, they waited there for hours, and then my Aunt Jean got an idea. She told the nurse, uh, maybe Uncle Bob's having a heart attack. Well, that really worked. It sped things up. Uncle Bob was seen right away, and he got a bunch of tests. The only drawback was uh, he was having a heart attack, and he had no idea. He had been convinced that it was shoulder pain due to his hard work. As soon as they treated the myocardial infarction, his shoulder pain disappeared. One more thing about referred pain, and that's the difference between referred pain and radiating pain. If I have a headache and the headache goes down into my neck, I'll call that radiation or radiating pain. If I have pain in my low back oh, and I can feel it go into my butt and, and down my leg, I'll call that radiation or radiating pain. But if I'm like my Uncle Bob and I'm having a heart attack or a myocardial infarction and I don't feel it in my chest, I just feel it in my shoulder, we call that referred pain. So that's the difference. Referred pain doesn't have a focus and then spread out. It's just in a one spot that's away from the organ that's actually damaged. Here's another for instance. If I had a dissecting aortic aneurysm and I was feeling central chest pain that was also going through to my upper back, well, we'd call that radiating pain. But if I was having a dissecting aortic aneurysm and I came to you saying, I just have this pain in my upper back and it, it feels like something ripping, well, that would be referred pain.